everybody, Chris from CameoCreeps.com here. Today I'm going to talk to you about painting Lord Heinrich Baphomet the disease. Here I'm uh, finished up my drawing here using a mechanical pencil and HB lead. Next I'll go ahead and spray it with a, a touch of workable fixative. Um, don't really need a whole lot because it's a really small piece. So you don't have to spray the crap out of it. Just enough. Um, okay, so here I've started to work on the background. I'm kind of blocking in areas. Um, I want to keep this painting high key um, in the background and in the clothing. And you'll see why a little later. This is part of, well, it's, it's a, I guess it's like a mini series of paintings. Um, but this particular cameo creep has a brother. Um, and you'll see why a little later. Um, working with um, a zero, or excuse me, a, a three round brush. Adding some smoke trails. So here you can see I've kind of gone in and uh, gotten the background moving to where I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm gonna start working in the foreground. But before I do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about the paint that I use. Um, I had brought it up uh, in my last video, and um, I'm working on uh, I'm working with uh, Crafters acrylic paints. Um, here, you know, a series of brushes that I use. Uh, maybe not necessarily for the creeps, but for other projects that I have. Here, I've altered some. You can see the <laughs> the masking tape on one. Um, so the, the, I'm using Crafters Acrylics. Um, Deco Art makes a series of uh, paints called Americana. Um, they also make um, uh, another series of brand of paint, which is a little less inexpensive. But I'm also using Golden Fluids as tint as a tinter because uh, they're pretty transparent, and these um, Crafters Acrylics can get pretty opaque. So I don't want to warm up a hue or cool off a hue. Um, I'll use the, the golden, the fluid uh, acrylic paints. So here I'm blocked in, pretty much happy with uh, how things are going here with the, 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 his clothing. I'm starting to add highlights and details. The thing that I like about this kind of paint is um, I was trained primarily in art school and to, to work in gouache. Um, and the flow from the brush that I get with these crafters acrylics with a little touch of water Helps, helps the flow uh, from the brush to the board or whatever surface you might be working on. So I'm using a, a zero round watercolor brush. Um, it's a liner brush. Um, Windsor Newton watercolor brush uh, series 222. Had a lot of great questions uh, from my first video about you know the types of things that I use so I want to make sure I cover that and I'll probably go into it in more detail in other videos so if you watch the series you'll be able to see or to, to gain you know kind of insight on the types of materials that I'm using for acrylic painting so here I'm blocking in um, you know I've added some uh, a lot more water uh, to, the, to the to the paint to the pigment to thin it out so I can still see my drawing underneath well, here I'm starting to go in with an opaque paint um, to, to push those highlights and push and pull the space, you know, so I've added some uh, transparent effect there on the collar uh, so you can see kind of into it a little bit. But I'm using like a warm white um, and a touch of, um, I think I'm using uh, burnt umber here, just a smidge to warm it up a little bit um, and to dull out the white white. Um, you know, it's always pushing and pulling that. You know, I think I'll probably go in and uh, put a wash over top of it to knock it back just a little bit more. Here I'm going in, kind of starting to paint those edges, make sure those edges are clean so I can see, so you get some focal point. It gives the eye something to rest on when you have a sharp edge versus a soft edge. Little hits of white there. You know, once again, the painting Cameo Creeps is all about us, you know, refining my brush strokes, trying to keep it as simple as possible. Trying to knock 
not over over detail or overthink an area too terribly much. So now it's kind of about, now that everything's kind of blocked in, it's about carving out shapes, right, that are, are getting hit by light. So here I'm doing the underside of the collar. Uh, very simple. Same, same, maybe a little, a touch more water than say what I was doing for the opaque. So it's a little more transparent. Clean line work, trying to keep it as clean as possible. You know, working it two inches by three inches does have its advantages. Like I said, you know, cameo creeps are about simple, keeping things simple. And um, as far as the approach to painting, so the, the simpler I can achieve an effect, um, you know, I'll run with it if I'm happy with it. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes I have to start over, wash it back, or wipe it off. But for the most part, I've been painting long enough that I know now kind of what works for me. So yeah, so here I used a uh, uh, half inch flat uh, to wash in uh, a burn umber over the entire piece. Um, and then after I did that, I went back in again and did another layer of uh, to the collar to punch out uh, those areas and then I also went into the the clothing and started to punch that up get those highlights and interesting details so here I've started to work on the head and this is what uh, this is why I wanted to keep well, there's two reasons why I wanted to keep the background and the clothing relatively high, high key in value, um, because I wanted his face to be um, like a black goat. Um, so I want, I really wanted to get that contrast. Um, and as I go, and as you know, as you go, if you paint in acrylic or if you paint in general, really, it's all about just going back and forth and pushing and pulling the space till it gets to work where you're, where you're happy with it where it gets to working where you're happy with it. And, you know, it's a process. It doesn't, sometimes it happens right away. And sometimes it's, it's a struggle and um, that's okay. That's just part of making art. So here I'm using, I washed in a layer of, I think I just used um, a, a, like a wash of black acrylic and a touch of um, uh, burnt umber again. Um, to tint, you know, I was talking about tinting before, to tint the black so it kind of had a warmer hue to it rather than a, a cooler or duller hue. And I'm just drawing with the paint. I'm drawing with my brush. I'm drawing those, those uh, ribbings there from the, on the horns. And I'm just kind of tracing over my line work and with the with the wash of this black that's flowing from the brush here. As I go, I'll start to add more of an opaque paint to the to the mixture that I've got on my palette to um, to build, uh, so I'll build up to an opaque rather than start it with an opaque first. I, I like to start with washes first. Um, one because I can see my drawing, um, and then I can build up into that. So here you can see there I'm softening out the edges of that uh, this head back there um, versus say the the harder edge of the horn. Um, you kind of get starting to to determine space spatial factors there for the viewer subtle it's a subtle thing but it really can be effective if it's done right so as I start to build up these layers you know I can start to carve out shape and, and carve out um, 
line and focal point. Working on his beard there. Once again, I'm still using it like a wash. It's not, I'm not hitting it really yet with, um, with an opaque. But I do, I draw with my brush. That's how I, that's how I work. That's how I've learned how to make art. Um, not everybody does that. There's painters who are very loose and uh, whimsical. You would think that the, that the, uh, that that's really difficult to do, but it's actually just a matter of accuracy of value and color. For me, it's, this is how I enjoy making art, you know. For you, it might be something different. You have to find your voice and your, where you get the most joy out of it. So here, I, th I think I started to add a little bit more uh, opaque paint to the mixture so I can really start to get those pops. Um, Once again, just kind of drawing with the brush. Oh, drawing, drawing, drawing. But starting out in the washes and building to opaques allows you to, to push and pull that value structure um, that you might miss in if you're doing opaque paint right away. Um, and then you have to go back into it, paint over top of it, and so forth and so on. For me, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and I've done it before, don't get me wrong. I've I've made plenty of mistakes. <laughs> but that's part of learning, you know, and gosh, you just don't ever stop learning. You just kind of, it, it is a process that will, if you are passionate about art making and um, you know, you pursue it as a career like I did, um, you will never stop learning. It will always be, you will never, because it's that satisfaction that you have to constantly get to. So here is the brother. Here is the, this is Lord Frederick Baphomet, the Cure. Um, so you can see here I used, he's very high key um, in the face. So I, I kept his, he had white fur and a black uh, uh, coat and a black background. So here I'm doing the opposite. I wanted to do the opposite of, of that character because these two are brothers. So one is the disease and one is the cure, right? I thought that was fun. So here I'm going in now with an opaque. I'm cooling off um, of that, that really warm area. Um, I want to get that uh, working. Uh, but I'm still drawing with the paint. You'll notice I'm still drawing with it. I'm not laying in sh uh, hues and tones and, and things. That's just that's just how I work. It's just how I've learned how to paint, and I get most the, mo the, mo the most joy out of that. So here, once again, I'm kind of going in with a cooler gray. Um, you know, I've started to hit certain planes of the face um, that um, you know work for me. I added uh, glowing hot red eyes and I've also added the burn marks to his clothes. Um, almost like he's, you know, smoldering. Um, also added uh, smoke elements pouring off of him. So you have the two brothers here. So you have on the on the right you have uh, Lord Heinrich and on the left you have Lord Frederick. Um, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.